Hello my dear friends. Welcome to Recipe Fever Vlogs. Woohoo! Hey! The Christmas season has arrived and from today onwards you will be seeing my Christmas series recipes. So guys, what's the first thing that comes to your mind about Christmas? Hmm. Yes, you are right. It's the plum cake. Today, I will be showing you how to make a non-alcoholic plum cake without an oven, including the fruit soaking process. So do watch the video fully to make the bakery style rich and yummy plum cake with all the secret tips and tricks revealed. Though it's a long process, I bet that you will love this plum cake recipe for sure. So let's get started. First, I will show you how to soak the dry fruits in grape juice. For that, I have taken 500 g of black grapes. You can take either seed or seedless grapes. but use only the black ones and not the green now i will pluck each grapes one by one guys while doing this if you find any spoiled grapes please throw them and don't use it as you can see i have removed the branches and taken all the good grapes here comes the first and the most important tip that is we have to wash these grapes well If you don't wash the grapes well, fungus might appear while we soak the dry fruits. So, wash the grapes until the water is clean and clear. I have washed it for 2 times and you can see that the water is clear without any dirt. Now, let's drain the water and separate the grapes. Next, I am going to grind the grapes well. For that, I will add the grapes to a juicer jar. Guys, drain the water well and add only the grapes to the juicer. Now I will grind the grapes well for 1 minute on a high speed. Hmm, this is done. Guys, look at this. I have taken a strainer and a vessel to collect the grape juice. It is important that you must clean these both well and dry them in sunlight to prevent any germs or fungal formation. Now to this, I will add the grape juice little at a time and strain it well. I will use a clean spoon that is sun dried as well to press the grapes and strain the juice from it. Tada! This is done. Next, let's switch on the stove and place this vessel for heating. I will add 4 tablespoon of sugar to the grape juice and heat them on a high flame until it starts boiling. Also, I will stir it occasionally to prevent it from getting stuck to the bottom. Hmm. Now we can see that it's boiling well. Guys, at this stage I will reduce the flame to low and heat it until the grape juice reduces to half. It may take around 7 minutes. Now, it's been about 7 minutes and you can see that the grape juice has reduced and also lightly thickened. So let's switch off the stove and immediately let's add 1 teaspoon of white vinegar and mix it well. Guys, let's allow this grape juice to come to a room temperature completely. In the meantime, you can chop the dry fruits for soaking. So, I will show you what all dry fruits I am using, starting with 125 grams of black dates from which I have removed the seeds and chopped to small pieces, 100 gram of chopped candied cherries, 100 gram of black raisins, and 50 grams of tutti frutti or the candied papaya. So guys, you can use the dry fruits of your choice like candied orange, dried berries, white raisins, dried apricots, dried kiwi, etc etc. But I highly recommend not to skip the black raisins as it will enhance the flavor of the plum cake. Hmm. So now let's mix all these dry fruits well with a clean spoon so that they are uniformly distributed. Oh wow. It looks so colorful, isn't it? This is done. I will keep this aside. To store the dry fruits, we have to take a clean glass jar like this. And it is very important, guys, that you clean and dry this jar in the sunlight well before adding the dry fruits, because we will be soaking the dry fruits for three days. And to prevent the fungus formation, this is very important. Now I will open the glass jar and add half of the dry fruits to it. 
After adding this, let's add half of the grape juice that has completely cooled and is in room temperature to this dry fruits. After that, I will add the remaining dry fruits as well. And finally, let's add the remaining grape juice. Then, let's immediately close the glass jar and tight it well. Now, we will rotate the jar and shake it well so that the grape juice and the dry fruits combines well. We have to soak the dry fruits for 3 days in room temperature and also please make sure that the jar is in a cool and dry place away from the sunlight. Also, guys, please don't keep it in the refrigerator. Now, it's been 24 hours, that is, one day has completed. The fruits has started to soak and plump up. Let's shake the bottle and mix it. Ding ding, it's the second day. And look at this guys, the dry fruits has almost absorbed the grape juice. Let's shake the bottle once again and soak it for one more day. Ta-da! It's the D-Day. All the dry fruits has soaked well and no juice is remaining guys. Now, I will show you how to make the plum cake using this soaked dry fruits. But before that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell icon and press all to get instant notifications of my new recipes. Also, hit the like button and share this recipe with your loved ones. So guys, now let's make the caramel for the plum cake. For that, I have kept a small non-stick pan for heating and I will add half cup of sugar to it. Let the sugar melt on its own on a high flame. Now here is my tip. Please don't stir the sugar until it melts as it will crystallize and takes long time to make the caramel. Guys, you can see that it has started to melt and is turning brown. At this stage, reduce the flame to low. Suppose if you want to mix it, just rotate the pan so that it mixes. Now, 75% of the sugar has melted. At this stage, I will keep half cup of water for boiling in a saucepan on the other stove. Within few minutes, you can see that the sugar has caramelized completely. I will switch off the stove and add the half cup of boiling water to the caramel. Please be careful while adding the hot water as the caramel starts bubbling and may spill over. When the bubbling reduces, let's switch on the stove again and mix it. Ha! Huh, I know guys! You will see that it has crystallized suddenly, but don't worry, it is only for a moment. Since we have added the boiling water, it will melt within few seconds. Ho! Oh, see this guys, it has melted within seconds as I said. Now, let's heat the caramel on a low flame for 3 minutes so that it thickens lightly. Guys, you are now free to use the spatula to stir the caramel occasionally. It's been 3 minutes now and I will switch off the flame. The caramel will thicken as it comes to a room temperature. So, I will keep this aside. Next, to a mixy jar, I will break and add 2 inch long cinnamon stick, 5 cardamoms, small piece of nutmeg, 6 cloves and 3 by 4 cup of sugar. Let's grind all these to a fine powder. Hmm, this is done. So, let's close it and keep it aside. Now, let's sift the dry ingredients. For that, I will add 2 cups of all-purpose flour or maida, 2 tablespoon cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 teaspoon baking powder and half teaspoon of salt. Now, I will mix it with a spatula and sift them. Then, let's mix the dry ingredients so that it combines well. After that, I will close this and keep it aside. Next, we will prepare the cake tin. This process is very important to make the plum cake guys. So, keep watching. I have taken one 8 inch round pan with 3 inch height. If you want, you can use two 7 inch pans. Now, let's add little ghee of butter and grease the tin completely. And here is the important part, that is, we will add 3 sheets of butter paper underneath because we have to cook the plum cake only on low temperature and also it takes longer time to bake the plum cake compared to the other cakes. So, let's apply the ghee and add 3 layers of parchment paper or the butter paper to the cake tin. 
Also, let's line the sides of the tin as well with the butter paper. Another important step that I follow is adding a cake strip to the cake tin to cook the cake evenly because the sides of the cake cooks faster compared to the middle part. So, to avoid it from burning, I will add the cake strip. For that, let's take two double sheet newspaper and fold it 2 inch wide. Then, I will immerse this folded newspaper in tap water completely and take it. After that, I will keep this wet folded newspaper in an aluminium foil and fold it lengthwise. The cake strip is ready. So, let's wrap this around the cake tin and enclose it well such that it covers the cake tin well. You can cut the extra part and fold it. Now, the cake tin preparation is done. So, I will close it and keep it aside. Now, to a large mixing bowl, I will add 100 gram of unsalted butter that is at room temperature. Let's beat the butter well with a blender or a whisk until it turns creamy and pale yellow. After that, let's add in the powdered spices and sugar. Let's mix these well with a spatula first. Then, let's beat it until the sugar combines well with the butter and becomes creamy. Next, let's add 3 eggs one at a time and beat it well each time after adding an egg so that the egg combines well with the buttercream. Now, I have added all the 3 eggs and has beaten it well. So, after this, I will add quarter cup of oil and beat it just once to incorporate the oil with the egg mixture. Next, let's add 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then, I am going to grate and add the zest of 1 lemon. Please make sure that you grate only the yellow part and not the white part because it will be bitter in taste. After that, let's add 3 tablespoon of fresh orange juice, 1 tablespoon of mixed fruit jam, 2 tablespoon of honey and finally, let's add the prepared caramel. Oh wow! See the color of the caramel, guys. It's so lovely. Mmm. Now, let's beat all these well until the caramel combines with the other ingredients. Now, let's add the soaked dry fruits to a bowl. Along with this, let's add 50 grams of chopped cashews and 50 grams of chopped almonds. Let's mix all these well. And then, I will add 3 by 4 cup of the sifted flour to this dry fruits mixture and mix it so that they doesn't sink to the bottom of the cake while it's baking and will be distributed uniformly. So, I will keep this aside and add the remaining flour to the wet ingredients little by little and mix it with a spatula until it forms a smooth batter. Please make sure not to use the blender from this point onwards. Now, we have added the flour completely and mixed it. Guys, let's keep an iron tower for preheating on a medium flame for 10 minutes. While this is heating, let's add the dry fruits mixture little by little to the cake batter and mix it with the spatula until it combines well with the batter. Hmm, this is done. So, let's add the plum cake batter to the prepared cake tin. Spread the batter uniformly and tap it a few times to remove the air bubbles. Now, let's keep the cake tin on the preheated tawa and close it with a lid. Reduce the flame to low completely and bake it for 2 hours. Hmm, Guys, now it's been 1 hour and 45 minutes. You can see that the cake is 90% done. At this stage, let's add some cherries, cashews and raisins on top of the plum cake for decoration. And then, let's close it and bake it for 15 more minutes. If we add these decorations at the initial stage, it will immerse in the batter. So, do it like this, guys. Ding, ding, ding. It's been 2 hours now totally. I will open the lid. Oh, wow. Guys, my kitchen is filled with the aroma of the plum cake. Let's use a skewer to check if the cake is baked. Yes, it's baked perfectly. Now, let's switch off the stove. 
So for the people who want to bake this cake in the oven, please see the baking instructions in the description box below. Guys, now the cake has come to a room temperature. Let's demold the cake now. Tap tap. It's done. Now let's remove the butter paper and flip it to the other side. Hey! The delicious, rich and yummy non-alcoholic plum cake is ready. Guys, I suggest that you close and keep this plum cake for one day in room temperature and then cut it. Because the taste of the plum cake increases when you have it a day later after it is baked. Hmm. I kept my plum cake for 24 hours and now it's ready for serving. Hope you enjoyed my recipe. Do try this plum cake recipe and share it with your loved ones. Wish you all a Merry Christmas in advance. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.